Hi and uh, welcome to uh, Kreilves Garage. Uh, today I'm gonna look at this uh, Mitsubishi AXSX. Does there is some brake noise uh, when using the brakes? So uh, I'm gonna do the best to my knowledge to uh, try to eliminate that noise. And I'm doing the same as you would do if you were changing the brake pads. You, you will do just the same uh, same things. And first, I'm gonna remove the brake, the the wheel of course. Just gonna see if I find something that fits. Oh, I should hit it. Oh. Here is the caliper and the first two bolts I'm gonna remove let's see here is this bolt and on the lower part it's that one so that's the first thing I'm gonna do and afterwards I'm gonna remove the inner bolts that one and yeah that one now I'm gonna remove this by hand. Quite tight to uh, turn off, to get off, get loose, and then the lower one. And now it's stuck, it won't get off the, the socket. Like that. And these are the slide pins that I removed, and uh, they don't have much lube on them. They need some uh, lube to slide properly. They have a thin layer of lube. So now the caliper is loose. I'm just gonna need a screwdriver and loosen it a little bit. Just push a little bit. So, now it's loose. And I can place that one on top of the brake disc. You don't want it to be hanging by the, the hose. And how are the pads? They're actually not bad. Uh, you would prefer, or you would do this when they are stuck. But these ones are Actually, not bad. They are stuck on the inside here and there. They, they are stuck. So I'm gonna do this uh, either way. You don't want stuck pads. You want it to be as loose as... Them. We want it to slide freely. And you're not gonna grind down the 
the ears or anything on the pads. You need to remove the rust from the bracket here on the contact points. So yeah, now I'm gonna loosen the inner parts. I think it was perhaps 17. Let's see. Yeah, it was 17. And these are pretty stuck, they were good stuck. So I need to use some force. Wow. Hmm. No, they're not budging. Okay, plan B. This is the backup plan, the Engelsall run. So I hope this will take it loose. If not, I need to perhaps use the half inch impact. Is it turning the right way now? Do not mock It wasn't turning the right way. I think it would. Yeah, it worked. And then the second one. Okay. And here. This is completely stuck, so uh, that's no good. So now I'm gonna take out the brake hardware. And we're gonna clean some, there are not much rust here, but there are some rust beneath the brake hardware. So I'm gonna remove that with a Dremel so that will make them uh, you can see there are some rust here rust buildup so that's what I'm gonna remove so I'm uh, gonna get my glasses there. and actually the car is not on a jack stand, it should be, but uh, I'm not lying under the car, so I didn't care too much about it. When I get under the car, I always use a jack stand. So, just uh, take the grinding disc and go slowly side to side and remove the rust. So, I'm gonna keep continue doing this. And then I can show the final result. So. Yes, now uh, we have actually uh, the owner of the car did most of the grinding job. He wanted to try. And you can see it's really shiny and all the rust is removed here. So then I'm gonna lube up this side and use the, the brake hardware. But perhaps I should uh, give the brake hardware a, a bit of a polish also on the uh, the surface here. I'm gonna do that and then I come back to you. So um, the contact area here for the airs on the brake pads are uh, completely done. I did uh, there were some rust on the air on the the pads here so I just made the rust go away and uh, also uh, the owner of this, this car he, he did remove some uh, rust here on the, uh, these ears also. So uh, we didn't, re we managed to remove most of the rust here. So that's good. I'm gonna lube it up uh, now with uh, uh, Permatex Ceramic Extreme. It's the same as uh, Soft Nine Auto uses. So uh, that's a 
Through them make um, uh, grease that's supposed, supposed to uh, be used with uh, brake hardware and uh, brake pads and stuff. So I'm just gonna loop up behind the brake hardware so that uh, we prevent rust in these areas. It's very important that at least uh, we won't prevent it perhaps but we will delay it so uh, and then I cleaned up the brake hardware a little bit I think this is stainless but there were some uh, gunk on it so I just uh, cleaned it up I'm gonna push the brake hardware on and then I look at the other one there is it there's the other one place it on the bracket here and then it's time to uh, put it together so I'm gonna place it behind here let it hang there for a moment and I'm gonna use uh, Loctite on, on these bolts so that they don't come loose from the vibrations I'm not gonna use Loctite on the slide pins so perhaps a little bit much you only need a little bit on the the bolts and let's see if I I think I need to put my head up here. So now I, I, I just finger tightened it. Not, I've, I've gotten it in at least. So I'm gonna use an uh, electric uh, ratchet to tighten up. And the other one. And then, just that was used just to speed it up. I'm gonna hand tighten it with uh, this one. 17. Make sure it's on on. This is actually my favorite uh, ratchet. Uh, gear wrench is excellent uh, for me at least. I really like the semi looking swivel head. Yeah, that's good enough. You don't need to go go real on on these nuts. Just as much as one hand can tighten up. So. Uh, now it's time to put on the, the brake pads. This one, you can see here has been the, the cylinder um, from the brake caliper. So this is on the inside and there is also a brake squeal. And there is quite a lot of meat left on these pads. So this will last, uh, I don't know how long, perhaps a couple of years, I don't know. And the squeal is down. And I'm not gonna lube up uh, the airs on the pad. Because a lot of uh, dirt will come there and bind with the, the grease. So I can see they have been lubing it uh, from, uh, from the last job that was done on this car but now you can see they are really sliding really in and out and it's now you are sure that no damage will be done to these pads so I'm just gonna lube up the, the air here on the contact area 
just a little bit and on the cylinder on the brake caliper I'm being a bit messy but that's okay so and it's done a little bit Cut. so now I'm gonna put on the, the caliper to make sure the pads are them loose just slide it on and it slides on freely because I loosen it with the, the screwdriver and I'm gonna use some silicone grease on these slide pins just gonna put one in first so that they don't fall off the silicone grease is there so here is the silicone grease I'm gonna just wipe it off first that looks good they are shiny and uh, nice and this is for the lower part the the one with the rubber part here is from, from the upper part so just uh, not too much just a, a layer of silicone grease on it to lube it up they weren't properly lubed when I checked and just put it in And then I'll take the other one. You can see it's a little bit different from the from the lower uh, sliding pin. Some silicone grease. Slide it in. Oh, my hands are really, really messy now. I think I'm gonna wash my hands now and I'll come back to you. Okay, now I'm gonna tighten up the slide pins. It's, it's not a, a big kick in this. Uh, Uh, okay, that's not going in. So now I'm almost done. I just need to make sure that the slide pins don't come off. And then, so this is the way you want to lube up uh, everything when it comes to brakes and slide pins and, and stuff it's the way Soapman Out does it and uh, I've been doing this I'm not, ex of course I have 1% of his experience but uh, yeah the job is actually done now so um, yeah here is the owner of the car and can you tell us the, the difference before and uh, after yeah before the problem with the car when i tried to brake uh, particularly on a level surface uh, when i put my foot down on the clutch uh, there was a uh, squeaking typical brake noise um, and afterwards we did the job and uh, there was no problem it was a good i tried the brakes several times on uh, going uphill downhill and flat and it all works well. Okay, so it was a success then. It was a success. Okay. So thank you for your help. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So as you can see, the, doing the front brakes, lubing them up and uh, removing the rust, it fixed the issues. I didn't uh, have time to uh, 
go over the rear brakes but there was no noise from them and also uh, I looked at the design on the, the rear brakes and it didn't seem like they get, get easily stuck like like uh, front brakes some rear brakes might have the same they are a little, little bit smaller but the same design I don't know but uh, not on this car so the rear brakes were functioning good and we did both sides in the front and uh, I filmed one of them so uh, the process for changing pads would be uh, exactly the same removing rust uh, in the contact area so that uh, the pad slides and uh, yeah if you do that and uh, I should have painted the uh, the pads ears because there are gonna be new rust build up there or I, I, perhaps I should have lured it but uh, nobody's perfect so we did have a little bit limited of time and uh, well, it was fixed. And he is my neighbor, so we can always uh, do it uh, whenever a new issue uh, comes up. So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the, this uh, shorter video. And uh, see you next time.